Coach Hinkle from the Kenston Bombers. Uh, you really turned around the second half. Can you talk about your ability to uh, crank that defensive pressure and force some turnovers? Well, we finally got that sense of urgency. When you're down 21, I mean, you, you can't let yourself you can't dig that big a hole against a great team like that. And we finally had a sense of urgency. And that's kind of been our problem the last few games is the first two quarters, we don't have that sense of urgency. And then it's, you know, you get down 10, 15, tonight 21, you can only dig yourself back so much. And we did a great job of working to come back, but um, dig yourself a hole like that is tough to win a basketball game. How big of a problem is number 24 for Perasco? It seems like uh, she was just relentless. He had 19 boards tonight. I mean, she's a great player. She's a nice player. I know every game plan against them will be to stop her, but when you have the outside combo, they have knocked down some shots. It seems like every time we cut it close, she either got an offensive rebound or, you know, they hit a big three. And credit to her. that She makes her teammates around her better, but she's a nice player. When they did that surprise you a little bit that they hit the threes? I think they had seven of them tonight. I mean, you collapsed and they hit them. Oh no, we we know they can shoot the ball. You just hope that we we need to do a better job of closing out. Uh, they hit one right at the beginning, of third, and then the second one and third we closed out with our hands back and forward, and it was uncontested. You can't give them looks like that. Um, he's always liked to shoot the three, and he's had good shooters, and that's a nice inside-out combo. Yes. There's one time you got down to five, one time you got down to four. Did you just need one more to really get, keep that drive going? We, we talked about trying to get it down to one possession with two minutes left, and every time we got down five or four, we had a huge defensive breakdown. I, I can't underestimate how big it was. We had two people out of position each time, and it goes from five to nine like that. Uh, we get our people in their position. We had them a little bit tired. Their short, short, shots were coming a little short, but you can't have those breakdowns, especially with two minutes left in the game. You schedule up. I mean, you've played some tough teams so far. Do you, are you pretty confident that eventually this is going to pay off? That these girls are going to get that sense of urgency for the full 48 minutes. Or I'm, I'm hoping. Uh, we understand that. You know, you look at our schedule from the beginning of the year to the end of the year, especially with our conference. It's a, it's a really good schedule, and we worry about conference wins first. But the thing is, you don't have any cupcakes or any time to just feel good about yourself. But you know, we like to think that builds a little bit of toughness because come tournament up there at Perry, I think us and Chardon by far the, the smallest schools. And you're going to play teams that are bigger and more athletic, and you just you got to play that competition to get ready for it. And, you, you know, as most coaches say, you begin with the end in mind. Who do you get next and when? Uh, Riverside Saturday at our place.